Okay, so here we are at the Sidgwick Lighthouse, and we have Jackson Weatherby and his the reggae band, the Cornerstone. The Cornerstone, and we are using the Pro Photo B2s. We have an umbrella to light up everybody, and then we have the two-foot octa that is lighting up specifically on Jackson, and we have a couple other portable flashes in the background just to add a little bit of highlight and put a little bit of light on the. Um, on the lighthouse itself. So what we're doing is we're balancing light, we're balancing between this globe and the ambient light that's in the background. We've got a cool little sunset that's going on right now, nice light in the sky, and we gotta start shooting because time's running out. Okay, so here we go. Ready to go guys? So here's another view of that setup. You can see the umbrella and the uh, the small octa, um, and you can see right now that the sun has gone down. So we're when you're doing this kind of twilight balancing, you've only got about a half an hour of light, where from where the sky is too light until it's too dark. So you've got to have everything together and ready to to shoot. So before I shot the band, I actually went out and I shot my fabulous husband Lee, playing his instrument, the bazooki. The bazooki. Uh, and we just did a test. Now in this case we've got the uh, Octa just on him and we put another light in the background just because I kind of wanted to play around and see what it looked like. Uh, this particular shot was shot at f8 at a, a quarter of a second. Now as the light changes that, that shutter speed is going to keep changing as it keeps getting darker and darker. But let me show you a few more images here. So that was just a closer one and then the, the next one is the one that has just the one light on it and that was the balance with the sky. Um, that one I think was at a half a second. We were getting pretty light then. It's half a second is about as long as you want to go before you really just, it's just too dark and any movement is going to result in shadowing. So when we were shooting the band, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your ambient light exposure correct. So this was a little bit early on and this is my crew that, that I'm photographing and just doing the silhouettes. This was at a 1 one eightieth of a second, which is my sync speed. And this was actually shot at F20 because it was still pretty bright outside. So we waited a little bit longer and now we shot the strobes at F8. And you can see the stand in the background there to the camera left. Um, but there's the balance. So this was just trying to get everything all tweaked and everything before I actually started shooting the band. Okay, so the next one then was the band. So here we are. Now you can see that the sky, the, co the color's changing a little bit. Um, I have two portable flashes, uh, one to the camera left and one that is lighting up the lighthouse. And then the umbrella is lighting up all of the guys. And then the, the, um, the small octobank is basically on Jackson right in the middle leaning forward here so that he gets a little more highlight since he's the leader of the band. So these are all done at f8 at around a 60th of a second. Now at this one, my angle's a little higher because I want to get a little bit more of that sunset light in. Now it's getting a little bit darker. You can see the sky's getting a little richer. I got to keep shifting that shutter speed. I'm now down to a 30th of a second. And then we did some to just have some fun. So we had them jumping. And now I'm at an eighth of a second. I'm still, I kept it at F8 the whole time because I needed to have enough depth of field to cover them. But now you see that we get the shadowing from the jumping. But I think it still looks pretty cool. And it's just another variation on that, still at an eighth of a second. And then we ended with everybody happy saying ha 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 ha. All right, so there you go.